adding and removing objects from our view screen in Blender. So in Blender, uh, if we want to add something, we can do it in two different ways. In Tinkercad, we have a big menu of different objects we can pull off the right-hand side and add them in. In Blender, though, the Add button is in the top left-hand corner. So you can click on Add, and then you have this great big menu of different things you can add. We're not going to get into all of these throughout 3D printing, simply because there's a lot of different stuff you can do here. A lot of these have to do with animation, which is going to be a level above what we're doing right now. But most of the times what you're going to work with is you're going to work with a mesh. So if you want to add a cube to your screen, all you really have to do is go up to the Add screen and click Mesh, and then click on the cube, and it will give you your cube. You can also do the same thing, though, by pressing Shift-A. When you press Shift-A, it brings up the exact same menu, which you can browse through and pick the object that you want. In this case, I'm picking on a meta ball. Okay. So both of those work. It can be nice to, have, to use that hotkey because you can just quickly add things in without having to think about it as much. Um, where you need to go and then you can just get to work straight away. If you want to delete something while you're in object mode, what you're going to do is you're going to press X. Our instincts are probably go to back to go to backspace or delete, but that doesn't actually work in Blender. You have to exit out literally by pressing and holding down the X button and then pressing delete. And our meta balls left a bit of information behind. You'll notice that you can see all of the objects in your screen on the right hand side, and you can actually toggle them on or off. To make them visible or invisible. What you'll also notice is that when we add new objects, it's going to center on this cursor. If we move the cursor around, like if we move it over here, we bring a new object into the scene, it's going to spawn onto that cursor. So we can actually use that move cursor button to get objects into a very specific place. And you can also uh, tag them onto the surface of any object that you have. So if you want to bring something in on that side, all you have to do is add it there. However, do make sure that when you want to select something, you uh, move out of it. If you want to delete something, you can also right click that will bring up a delete option down at the very bottom, so just select whatever it is you want to delete and delete away. You will note, though, that when you right-click here, you don't actually get an Add Object option. So if you want to add, you either need to use the Shift-A or you need to use the Add button up at the top.